Hello everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on lesson 4-7, and that is going to be on page 185 in your robot and turtle books. Now today we're not going to focus on just one strategy to subtract. Instead, you're going to get to pick any strategy you like that helps you subtract the best. Um, I know for a lot of friends in the classroom, it's using the number line. Some friends really enjoy using a quick picture, that's fine too. Um, I know 10 frame can be kind of hard to use right now because we don't have that grid right in front of us and it can be difficult to make our own sometimes. So I'm going to recommend that we kind of try to stick with the number line because we have number lines everywhere. We have them in the classroom, on your desk, even in the video. And I feel like most of the kids, most of the friends in the classroom uh, really like using the number line the best because it's just, it's always there and that's fine. All right, so we're going to read this little story problem. We're going to find out if we need to subtract or add. And we're going to pick out the special numbers and words. Jeff has 12 apples. So we circle that 12 because it is important. They don't tell us numbers just for fun, right? They always tell us numbers for a special reason. So Jeff has 12 apples. He gives away six apples. So we're going to circle that six. And there's also some very important words that we hear in this sentence. He gives away. So gives away tells us that he's going to have a smaller number. So he has 12 and he's giving away 6. Some other friends are taking them, okay? So we're going to have a much smaller number at the end. So if we're going to have a smaller number, are we going to need to use a plus sign or a subtraction sign? We're going to need that subtraction sign every time we take away. And then the last sentence says, how many apples are left? So when they say how many are left, that's another hint that we're going to be using subtraction. And here they're saying, make sure you use words, objects, or pictures to help explain your work. Uh, if you would like to draw a, a number line, feel free to on your page. I don't know how much room there really is on your page, though. But if you have one on your desk, you can just use that one, too. Not a big deal. And I know they give us a little uh, subtraction setup down here, but I like to write just a little bit bigger. So when we subtract, which number is going to go first? Is it going to be the 12 or the 6? Well, if you're not sure, we just think to ourselves, which number is the biggest? Is it 6 or 12? And 12 is definitely the biggest. If you're not sure which one is bigger, look at your number line and look at which one is further down the line. Whichever one is closer to that 20 is going to be the bigger number. So that means if we already used 12 in the first space, that means 6 has to go in the second space. And then we don't know how many we're going to have left. So we can use a number line or we can even use a quick picture. We'll use both both methods just in case you like making a quick picture which is fine nothing wrong with that so remember when we use a number line to subtract we're going to uh, look at our start number which is the first number right this is our start number and we're going to make a little dot that's all and then we look at our next number and this is how many jumps now when we are subtracting which way are we going to be jumping are we going to be jumping more towards the number 20 or are we going to be jumping backwards towards this number 5 here? We're going to be jumping backwards toward this number 5. Yeah, we don't want to keep jumping to the big numbers because we're taking away. So we got to make sure we jump that way towards the 5. So let's go ahead and jump 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I stopped because I counted six, and my answer is six. Now, maybe you don't like the number line, and that's okay. Maybe you really like drawing a quick picture. When we do a quick picture for subtraction, we have to draw our big number. So 12, our start number, is how many circles we're going to draw. So we can go ahead and do that too real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. After we draw our big number, 
We then look at our second number, and that's how many we're crossing out. So let's, we, now let's cross out six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After you do that, you just count how many you didn't cross out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we still get six again as our answer. So now we definitely know that 12 minus six is six. Now these are the two methods I'm going to suggest that you stick with because they're kind of uh, the easiest and when I mean the easiest it's we can always use them. We don't need anything special to use these two skills. All we need is a pencil and a piece of paper and we can always do this. So let's go ahead and turn to page 186 and practice a few more problems. Here's what page 186 looks like. We have the same girl that was on the last page telling us about the different strategies we can use like using addition to help us subtract, using a number line, or even using a 10 frame. Okay, they're just kind of reminding us of all the things we've used. Now, uh, if... I, I know we already have the answer for number 6, but let's kind of go through a couple different strategies so just so we can practice. So we have 15 minus 9, and they're telling us the answer is 6, but I think we need to check that really quick. Now, if we're going to use a number line, right, we look at our start number, which is 15. So we just put a dot on 15. And then we look at our second number, and that is our jumps. So we take 9 jumps backwards. And we go backwards towards the 1 because we're taking away. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I stop and I land on 6, so they, they did it right. 15 minus 9 is 6. Now, of course, you can use some other strategies. If you have a 10 frame in front of you, oh, what? Sorry about that. Now, if you have 10 frame in front of you, of course, you can make uh, 10 circles in a 10 frame and then cross out 9. Uh, if you really like making a quick picture, that might be a little time consuming here because we have to make 15. So it's going to be a lot of circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I stop. And now I, would, I could just cross out 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then I just count what I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still have six. And of course, if uh, the last strategy we learned was adding to subtract, we could use that too. But in my opinion, it's just kind of using the number line all over again, right? So if we turn this into a addition problem, we could say nine plus some number, right, this is blank, equals 15. And if we use this strategy, we just make a dot on 15, make a dot on 9, and you count the jumps, right? Because we're just missing our jump number in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We get 6 again. So either way, you get the correct answer. Use the method that works best for you. All right? Now let's go ahead and I'm going to let you try number 2 completely on your own. We have 9 minus 7. I'm going to keep the number line up on the screen for you in case you need it. But I want you to go ahead and try this one on your own. Alright, if you're still working on it, pause the video and take your time. If not, we're going to go over it. Okay, so 9 minus 7. Now I'm going to go to my old trusty number line up here and look at my start number. This is just, remember that first number or top number is just where we're going to start and make our dot on the number line. So 9 is our first one, put a dot, and... Next is our jump number. So now I jump backwards seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I land on two. 
So 9 minus 7 is 2. But of course you can also make a quick picture. So we would uh, look at our big number 9 and draw 9 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we look at our second number, which is how many we take away, which is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I still have 2 left. So no matter what method you want to use, guys, you will get the same answer. I, I sound like a broken record, I know, but just use what works best for you. That's it. So now I'm going to let you just do 3 and 4 at the same time. i to give you a little extra time to do these. So first do number 3, and then go right into doing number 4 on your own. And we'll go over them together afterwards. Okay, now if you're still working on those two problems, pause the video, take your time. If not, we're going to start going over them to make sure that you have the correct answers and that you understand the material. Okay, so let's look at number three. Look at our start number first, and it's 13, so I put a dot on 13. And then I look at my jump number, which is three. So I'm just going to take three jumps going backwards because we're subtracting. Remember, when you see this little minus sign here that means we have to have a smaller number than this big one if you have a bigger number than 13 for your answer for this we made a mistake and we need to correct it so let's check our work here go back three times one two and three and land on ten so right there that shows me that 13 minus 3 is 10 now I could also check my work by Making a quick picture, I can make 13 circles, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now I just have to look at how many I'm taking away again, which is 3. So I cross out 3. 1, 2, and 3. And I just count how many I have left, which right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I got the same answer again. Or even if you wanted to use addition to subtract, we could do that too. Again, it was just whatever works best for you. I'm going through a lot of them. So we have 3 plus some number will give us 13. I just put a dot on 3. Put a dot on 13 because they are my start and end numbers and then count the jumps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 I made 10 jumps so my missing number is 10 which is the same answer we got before so just use what works for you that's all alright now let's go over number 4 here, 17 minus 8. Now the way I would personally prefer to do this would be to find my start number, right, make a dot, and then look at my jump number, which is 8, and make 8 jumps backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I stop, and I land on 9. So 17 minus 8 is 9 because that's where I landed. Now I would not recommend uh, making a picture for this because making 17 circles is going to be a lot of circles on your paper. Um, I'm, all, I'm usually going to recommend that you guys just kind of stick with the number line for certain reasons because one you have them all over the, the classroom, you have them on the walls, on your desk, 
they will I, I will make sure that they're even on your quiz. Um, but again, if there's something else that just works better, stick to it. Like if we're going to use our addition method, which we have eight. Plus, oh, sorry about that. Plus some number gives us 17. Well, we have our start and end numbers, right? So I make a dot on 8. I make a dot on 17. And I just count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I still get 9 for my answer. All right. Now, let's go ahead on to uh, page 187, and I'm going to explain your independent work to you. Alright, everyone, so, and I know normally we do, like, the first one together, but since it's, we're just kind of doing all the same stuff, and we had quite a bit of practice on the last page, normally they only give us, like, two, that time they give us four problems to practice with, so I feel like that's, that was definitely enough, I want you guys to get more comfortable doing this on your own. So I'm going to have you do problems number 5 all the way through 10 on your own. And then, you know what? Give number 11 a shot. Um, there we give you a little setup to subtract. So we know it's going to be subtracting. And it says there are 16 crayons. 7 crayons are broken. How many are not broken? So give that one a shot too on your own. And that's it. Hopefully uh, this is all getting a little bit easier for you guys. I'm seeing lots of improvement. Very proud of how you guys are progressing. So let's keep up the hard work, all right? So um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.